This is a video of your master bolt control panel. So here is your favorite um, main control panel that will always pop up. Um, and there you have all your different circuits that you mainly need for your daily use. So you have first number one is ceiling lights and the ceiling lights will be your main headlights, which are the round ones. So if you turn them off, the lights will be going off and then of course the light switches will not work. So you can either cut the circuit to cut all your lights at once or you use your light switches for this. And the next one are your other lights. So the other lights are your LED surrounds and then also your reading lights which operate, they have a light switch on each individual light. The next circuit is your rain shot and oven. So the rain shot and oven needs to be on for your gas detector. The gas detector is wired to that circuit. Your gas, det gas detector is located underneath your seating. So always make sure that you have that you leave that circuit on. Your rain shot and oven also does the igniter and your rain shot. Next is the water pump. Um, that needs to be on if you want to run water. Entertainment does the TV and radio. Then you have the accessories, which are your USB charging points. You will have two right here. They are now off. So if I turn them on, then you will see a blue light coming out of the charging points. And they're also more located on either side of the bed over here and on the other side of the bed so if you do want to charge your phones then you have to make sure that that circuit is live next are the drawer locks so your drawer locks in the landmark lock automatically when you drive and unlock automatically when you are um, cutting the engine so you can also manually lock them by activating the drawer locks that is only a feature for the landmark the macerator macerator is only in you should only use that if you want to drain your gray water through the black water hose so the black water would need to be drained first then you push this button macerator it really is an opening of the valve and not so much macerating so once your black water tank is empty you would then push this control knob to basically open up the valves and then you can drain your gray water through the black water hose and the last one is your inverter so the inverter um, needs to be turned on if you want to run your inverter when you are freedom camping and you want to run something like the microwave or your hairdryer and then make it a habit to turn it off again when you're finished using the appliance. So you can actually swipe. There are two pages here as you see the two dots so there's another page hidden here. That will give you more information about your starter battery, your house battery, your main starter, fresh water and grey water tank. And also has the feature of getting your slide out in and slide out out. So if you push these icons, you will have more information popping up on the right side about the state of your vehicle battery, which now sits at 12.31 volt and is basically 100%. If you then push the house battery, it gives you more information about your house battery. It's 14.21, state of charge is 100% and you will get a very minimal amount of power coming in as you are now on trigger charge. Your main starter will tell you a bit more about about your incoming power. So usually you get a little bit of a display here what is happening, um, 
I don't think we are plugged in right now so you will not get information if you're plugged into mains however you will get information of how much is actually coming in if the battery is a hundred percent full there very will be a very minimal amount of amps coming into your system then you have here the fresh water is down 25% so we are not filled this vehicle is not filled with water and it's not uh, calibrated correctly it should have capacity of 400 liters same with the gray 220 liters of gray and it's 16.8 percent full um, yeah that will show of course at time of your handover zero here to go back to your main page you just slide back again and you are now back on your main control panel you have now a few more features that you can access two ways one way is just by sliding your finger from the left frame towards the right and you see more features coming up or however to go back you go to favorites since this is your favorite page Oh, before I do this, I just quickly show you how to dim your ceiling lights. There are those headlights. To do that, you press and hold and you can now basically dim your ceiling lights. All the way down, all the way up. So one way of ex assessing the other features uh, is the slide. The other one is you push that corner and it comes up as well. So basically you've got favorites, which is your main page. Modes, you all really have all on or off. Control panel, if you click that, and you will have all the circuits all in one little block. The main circuits you will also have on your favorite page. Here are just a few more extras like Wi-Fi, for example. We left the Wi-Fi on for you so you don't forget if you do have a modem and you plug yourself in. The modem connection is right next to the solar, sorry, to the satellite dish. So these two connections are for your modem. If you do decide, you will have a modem, you don't have to worry, the Wi-Fi feature is already on. So again, most of the, the features here, you all have on your main panel. The only thing is you can actually also dim the mood lightning from this page. So the mood lightning is the LED surround and you can dim them as well. By clicking them, mood lightning, it comes up here, then you press and hold and now you can also dim the mood lightning. But really mainly you will only need the favorite page. So you press that again, you have then monitoring, so you will have all your main um, information that you usually need on one page. You've got the state of your vehicle battery, state of your main starter, inverter data, gray tank, fresh water tank, and um, your house battery. So everything is basically on one panel. Then you have here inverter charger. So if you run your inverter, then this would be an interesting page to open. Um, you will know exactly how much will be coming out of the solar to go into your charging unit and how much is actually diverted from the charger to power your appliance that you're running and how much is going to feed your house battery. So you had all stages completely in control. You know the state of your battery, you know how much it goes into your battery and how much you're using actually to power your appliances. And you also know how much solar will be going into your charger.
alarms. Um, that just shows you the alarms are set for critical, important, standard warning and history. That, nothing you need to really worry about. If you do have a warning come up, for example, um, low fresh water level or low battery levels, it will peep and it will come up with a box that you have to click with your finger to acknowledge. Once you have acknowledged it, it will stop beeping, but it is just there to talk to you and give you the information you need. The last one is the settings and really the settings I would leave right alone. This is just for the technicians. They have all set it up and there is no need for you to play with the settings. Back to favorites. That will be your main page. Again, after a while it will go blank. To wake it up, you just touch it with your finger and it will come to life. So really easy. The best way is to just play with it. And uh, you have different options. You can leave the, the circuits on at all times and use the light switches, or you just cut the lights off um, by cutting the circuits. If you're in a hurry and you want to turn everything off, if you, for example, come um, to a place and you want to go for a long hike, all you do is you press and hold all off. And then everything will turn off. All the circuits basically will turn off. They will not, however, come back on by itself. So you just then have to click the circuits when you come back, the ones you want back on. And then you're back where you were before. And that is your Master Vault control panel.